TED Talks are probably the most internationally recognized public speaking events in the world. So when we were invited to give our first smaller version of that with TEDx, we were absolutely thrilled. But of course, there was absolutely no way we would do this the traditional way. See, because Amar is from Egypt, he has to apply for visas long ahead of time before he decides to travel anywhere. So unfortunately, he wasn't going to be able to make this one. But instead of just having Matt and I go by ourselves, we thought it'd be a good idea to make this a true Yes Theory adventure by asking a stranger on the street to replace Amar in the speech and speak in front of hundreds of people with us. We had no idea if bringing a stranger for our first big speaking event was a good idea or not, but sometimes you just gotta take the risk and hope for the best. My regular statement, another day, another strange f***ing request to an unsuspecting stranger. Yeah. Me and my friends were invited to get a TEDx talk in Panama. Basically, I can't go to Panama anymore, so we thought, how baller would it be if a stranger would oh, say man. yes and end up flying with them tomorrow morning to Panama to give the talk on Sunday? Yeah. yeah. Try to sell my kidneys? What's going on here? No, no. <laughs> we'll find it. We'll find it. Guys, can I pitch you something real quick? Me and my two best friends were invited to give a TEDx talk in Panama. So for personal reasons, I can't go anymore. But we have the option to replace the flight. So we thought, get a stranger to say yes going on stage with these guys. You guys would prepare over there. None of them are prepared. They don't know what the f*** they're going to talk about. <laughs> You don't fucking do that. If you say yes and you would be more comfortable taking a friend, but we'll buy another ticket for, for Jasmine. For whoever, Jasmine, or it would be a really spontaneous, fun thing that that you can do. Yeah, like I really want to say yes, but, but I have an audition on Monday that's so important. Well, that's so important. I'm an actress, but I've never given like a speech speech. Sure. If she can come with me, I will say yes. Done. Right now. Done. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> okay. Yes. This is yeah. amazing. So What's your name? Morgan. Morgan. Yes. This is like my contribution to the TEDx talk. Oh, it's just doing right, it. Are we going to Panama tomorrow? Sweet. It, that's so wild. Down. That is wild. <laughs> yeah, Thomas is going to be so rattled that this works so fast and that they're so perfect. Because we're out for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I don't understand these best case scenarios in 10 minutes. Like, what the fuck am I not finding best case scenarios? <laughs> All right, it's currently 7 a.m. The girls should be here any minute now. We have not worked out what they're gonna do on freaking stage. Are we just, she's just gonna stand there? Dude, it's gonna be such, it, this is literally a yesterday episode live. But this is the freaking TEDx speech, man. This is our first fucking TED talk. We're just gonna be like, here's our speech, and then, oh, here's a person that we found on the street. See, Boogie's freaking out. I don't know why. We're not gonna have any time to prepare with this girl at all. <laughs> so when are we gonna work on the speech with her? When we get there. We'll have a day. Hopefully. Alright, my replacements are right here. She's gonna put you in. Good morning! Hey. Alright, Thomas, say hi. How's <laughs> it going? So we don't actually have much time to practice the speech. So we're gonna have to be like super sharp and impromptu. Right. Yeah. I think that's the fun part. It's like yes. At Thomas least you guys I have known for a while. You're doing a TED talk. I've known for under 24 hours. True. True <laughs> for anyone thinking about inviting us to a future TEDx talk, we promise there will be a little bit more preparation. Just for the record. <laughs> have fun, guys. Thank you. I, I trust that Morgan is gonna push my part in the speech, and she's gonna kill it. All right, here's uh, to Panama with strangers. Yes! So this is the furthest you've ever flown? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Is your final oh, destination Panama? Yes. <laughs> safe Thank you very much. What are you listening to? Shawn Mendes, baby. Peace All right, we're in Panama. Woo! What the heck? Yeah. We're in Panama. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Hi man, I'm Thomas. 10.30 p.m. and we still have a lot of practicing to do for the speech, so we're gonna go to the room, practice the speech, and kill it. Do you have an idea what you wanna say? Not yet. So I'm gonna talk about how we're tribal species too, and how we do things in groups. That's part of the reason we get people to join us on this thing, because it's more fun with other people. I wing all of my speeches, but I don't think I will wing this one. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that I've always wanted to do one, and it was my birthday, and like, what are the odds that it was me? That's crazy. Biggest actress out of New Zealand coming out right at you. <laughs> All right, it's the day of the speech. I'm gonna go do sound check and then uh, practice. We haven't done that yet. Are you stressing? No. All right. So here is the International School of Panama Performing Arts Center, where you guys will be talking. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, well. Oh my God. Who would have thunk it? All right, should I wear this? Well, Perfect. Is that okay? I mean, we've been saying oh yes. Oh my god. Things, so. I am Matt, and I like dress. 
and hat. Wow, that, that rhymed. That was and the dumbest thing friends. I've ever heard. Yeah. Have you guys practiced for the speech? What? Yeah, we're fine. It's getting real. Whoa. That's a stage. Oh, sh**. I gotta talk now. <laughs> All right, guys. So, uh, <laughs> theory is pretty cool. Uh, is that a good speech? Do you get nervous for stuff like this or no? Yeah, I get like butterflies. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. I'm going to inspire. I got this. It's currently an hour before we have to go up, and I'm starting to feel a little nervous now. All right, we've been called for a sound check. It feels more real, but it's like. <laughs> I feel like Steve Jobs is about to introduce iPhone 11. Wait, which iPhone are we on? So we still don't know what you're talking about. Yes, we do. I got that what? stuff written down on the back of my script that I have my audition for tomorrow. The millions of children who have been and still will be afflicted by vaccine preventable disease. Feel my heart right now. Jesus Christ, dude. This is from the speech that you said? I don't know. I'm just really anxious right now. When was the last time you felt truly alive? Disrupt their routine. You want to make them feel what we feel. She thought it was crazy and really dangerous. He's the world's youngest tattoo artist. And I'm going to let him tell you guys all about that. I just dropped the needle into my mom's arm and I started doing the tattooing and the coloring. And Ali's telling me, Ezra, it takes us artists years to fill in color like this. It's not right now, right? We've got like an hour or so. No, we've got 25 minutes. Okay. I can't believe we're about to go up and give a freaking TED talk all together. Yes. One, two, three. Yes! yes baby. It's more discomfort than I expected. But here we go. So, when was the last time you felt most alive? On this stage, today, it was supposed to be Thomas and I and Amara. Unfortunately, Amara could not make it. So, literally two days ago, we went out in the street and walked up to strangers and asked, Would you take his ticket to fly out here and tell your story to this audience? And then, this is what happened. what you want in life. Because what's the worst that can happen? You get a no. But what if you get a yes? <laughs> because I met Yes Theory, I have decided to challenge myself to say yes more often and be bold and be brave. And I challenge all of you to do the same. <laughs> the next time a friend asks you to go on a spontaneous adventure, they will say yes. Thank you. How's it feel? I feel great. I feel fiery. <laughs> oh boy. All right, this has literally never happened to us. Can I take a picture of you? Yeah, let's do it. Dude, it's Amari. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta look at somebody I know. It's my new Amari. Sorry, Amari, we replaced you. <laughs> oh, oh, Bye. Another hug, okay. <laughs> Goodbye, my love. Right, what a great birthday present. What one to remember forever. So, what are you guys going to do for my next birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Will, or should I call you Fresh Prince? You think we are scared, but it is you who should be afraid.